the old ship from an ignominious end in the breaker's yard. On the sands of St. Marlow, a contest featuring over 120 top names, reflecting the growth of sand yachting as an international sport. Although it's been a sport only since the early years of the century, land vehicles using the wind for power are almost as old as the wheel itself. The Chinese invented a wheelbarrow with sails, the Egyptians a sailing chariot. Many of these helmsmen are national champions from Austria, Belgium, Britain, the Netherlands, Sweden, France and Switzerland. Where do they find the sand in Switzerland? And here's a picture that sums up the skills and thrills of sailing on sand. a strong wind blowing down under too. We tend to forget that winters can be just as bad there as over here. This plastic bubble creates a summer climate for Australians who can't bear to let the weather deprive them of their backyard swimming pool. Water is poured into the base to hold everything secure. I'm told the plastic material allows the sun's ultraviolet rays to penetrate, so you can use it for sunbathing too. It also stops the kiddiewinks inadvertently falling in as they have to go through a door to reach the water. Come to that, you can shut the door if you want to keep the neighbours out. One inevitable result of installing your own swimming pool, you suddenly make so many new friends. After four days of closely fought competition,